welcome to a very gay version of Snog, Marry, Avoid. I well, it's only be gay, gay. Yeah. actually. It's a lesbian version yeah. of Snog, Marry, Avoid, but only because we're gay, it's not like, because the people are It's gay. like our version of it. All of the people we'll be going through today and choosing whether to snog, marry, or avoid them were suggested on our Instagram account, at Jessie and Claude, which if you don't follow it, you should. Mm -hmm. We're adorable. We are. Little gay wives. We are so cute. We have dogs as well. I mean, yeah, just, just to, follow it. Just to add to the cuteness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these people uh, are interesting choices. We're interested to choices. see uh, if we agree or not. Yeah, whether yeah. we agree, whether you agree, please don't get too be, angry I think there's going to be some outrage at some, some of our responses, probably. Yeah. It's just interesting. It's good that no one has the same taste in other people. Yes! Because yes, otherwise no yes. one, you know, you'd all want the same person all the time. But other people would just be left alone. Exactly. So yeah, terribly sorry in advance if, um, if we avoid your fave. Anyway, pick three! <gasps> I haven't played this game for ages, like... I know. It's kind of weird playing it with your wife. <laughs> oh, it's fine, I know you'll be marrying Normally me it was people, end. like, from your school or your uni, wasn't it, like... Okay. Back in the day. I got my three. First one is Anna Kendrick. Ooh, she is a redhead. Stevie like Bobby. Ah, oh, I don't need to tell you who Stevie is. If you don't know, Stevie's a YouTuber. Also our friend, who sometimes just lives in our house. And Taylor Swift. Oh. This is a funny three combo. Okay. No, I have to get, like, I have to get... Choices. I have to get Anna Hendrix face in my head. Right now I've just like lost it. Avoid Taylor Swift, snog Stevie Bobby, marry Anna Kendrick. Good choices. I think Anna Kendrick would make a, a good like wife. I agree. <laughs> Out of those three. I would marry her in a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, they're all really pretty, so, you know, that was quite a hard one. That was a good but, one. Like, but I think Taylor Swift, you know, she's just a straight girl, so probably Ooh, avoid. Oh, well, I mean. Yeah. We don't know that. Well, we don't know, apparently. I don't, how well do you know Taylor Swift? Well, <laughs> <laughs> me and her are like. Da -da -da -da. Some of these are historical, and some of these people are fictional. So, oh. Florence Nightingale. <laughs> What's a random one? Sarah Paulson and Cleopatra. Wow, yours are really mixed bag there. <laughs> I mean, okay, plus points of Florence Nightingale. She's a nurse. I uh, often need nursing. Yeah, but I think she was so dedicated to her job, you'd hardly see her. Yeah, she'd be probably a terrible wife and she'd bring home all kinds of diseases. Exactly. I don't have a great immune system. Mm. So. And she was quite known to be known as quite like a kind of strict, kind of rigid woman, I yeah. think. Yeah. No, Florence, you're out. You're Avoid. Out. You're yeah. gone. I mean, I only actually know what one of these people looks like. No, Cleopatra's meant to be renowned for Sorry, having, have like... you seen a photograph of Cleopatra? No, but we've seen lots of, like, we've heard lots of, like, you know, depictions. Yeah. And she's meant to have the most symmetrical Some face. Some say she's beautiful. Yeah, Some they... say she's ugly. We're uh, difficult. Okay, I mean... Also, are you allowed to snog, like, Cleopatra in life? Or do you have to, like, snog her mummified form? Ew! <laughs> I don't know enough about Cleopatra to marry her, I feel. No. So I'm going to snog also, her. Also, would you really want to marry her? Because, like, it's kind of a difficult time back then, I yeah. think. So you avoided Florence. Yes. You're doing snogging Cleopatra. <laughs> yes, I snogged Cleopatra and I've married Sarah Paulson. Okay, good. Put, there we put go. Put it back in there. Da, 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 da. Okay. Meryl Streep. Ooh. Florence Nightingale. Again. Oh, Florence. Shannon Beveridge. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Avoid Florence Nightingale. Yeah. Probably snog Shannon and marry Meryl. Oh, okay. I think, I don't know either of them. <laughs> but Shannon's not really hot. And She's... Meryl is really hilarious. And I don't know if Shannon's funny. I mean, I think Meryl's children are older than you. <laughs> oh, I kind of miss doing this at school. Okay, okay, who have I got? I've got Shannon Beveridge. <laughs> That's why I said don't put them back in. Ellen, I imagine. Ellen's a generous. generous. Yeah. And Santana from Glee. Random, okay. I have heard recently that Ellen's not good with her labour practices, and I couldn't endorse that. Ellen's being avoided. Stevie does go on about how much you remind her oh, of Oh yeah, Shannon, she does. So who you decided to kiss, so. She's, so... Well, she's hot. <laughs> she had that cool tomboy, tomboy and vibe. And Santana from Glee, I mean, she's got that like hot evil thing. I always like She's a bit girls. like Faith, I would say, kind of got that vibe. So I think I would snog Santana. Okay, I'm glad we got to a decision. Thanks. Put them back in. <laughs> I've married Shannon because she's a bit like you. Oh, Ruby Rose, Wanda Sykes, Ooh. Virginia Woolf. Well, I would definitely avoid Virginia Woolf. Because <laughs> she's, a, not gonna be she's good. a downer, okay? It's not gonna end well. Snog Ruby Rose. Ooh. Marry Wanda Sykes. Yeah, that would be a fun marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Janelle Monet. 
Villanelle. Oh. Willow. Oh my god, they're all TV characters. Well, no, no, one of, one of them is actually Do a real person. Real but person. yeah. <laughs> but she was in that drama they're that all we watched. TV characters. She was in that drama we watched recently. What was it called? Homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. Yes. No, she pretty can, hot she that. floats my boat. Yeah. She floats my boat. I think I'm gonna have to avoid Willow. I'm not Villanelle! I knew Villanelle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because there's something like deeply attractive about the Villanelle. Psychopaths. There. Um <laughs> I don't know about psychopaths per se. I mean just Villanelle. I know, uh, just like Oh you find you actually this is very really revealing. <laughs> you like mean girls and psychopath. What are you saying about me? <laughs> no, I you're you're uh, the exception that proves the rule. Okay, good. I'm having some kind of insightful moment yeah. about myself. Um, I don't think I should marry Villanelle because I imagine spending a lot of time with her is just increasing the chances of being murdered. I don't know. I was going to say if Villanelle marries you. Oh, but if she really loves yeah, you, yeah, I think she'll be you're okay. Fine. If you just snog her, she doesn't doesn't mean yes, anything. Yes, but then someone else could kill you to get to her. She does have random like just like sex with people and they don't know she's a psychopath just when she's off duty. So yeah. You could just we just have that. a really good snog. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then I'll marry Janelle Monáe. I think that's a good sense. Yeah, I think so. Right. Faith. <laughs> that's because I have the love of my life. Kate McKinnon. Also potentially unhinged. And Shannon Beveridge. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Right. Do any of them float your boat? I know none of them are redheads, but... <laughs> Not really, because all three of them, yeah, yeah, are quite, like, tomboyish. Oh, yeah. And, like, I like fancy. I think I do fancy the tomboy, kind of femme tomboy, but not for marriage. Like, I like more homely lady and a redhead. And these are all brunettes. Kim McKinnon's blonde. Oh, wait, yeah, she's she really blonde. just like Evelina oh, yeah. in a weird way. Our friends, uh, you can find them on Instagram, at Evelina and Clara. Evelina is the spitting image of Kate McKinnon. It's a bit weird. She's got, like, the same dimple. Because now, we, every time I see Kate McKinnon, I'm like, yeah. what's Evelina? What's Evelina doing? <laughs> I would avoid Faith. Oh. Because she hangs I out with vampires and I'm a bit scared. She doesn't hang out with vampires! Because <laughs> she kills vampires. Sorry, sorry. But vampire, been... like, you know, she spends a lot of time with vampires, as in, like, she's, that's I, her job. Sure, saving the world. I don't like supernatural stuff. Yeah. It would bring it into your life. It would bring it into my life. Yeah, yeah okay, I don't fine. need that drama. I'd snog Shannon. We know this. <laughs> Snog yourself. It's gonna be really awkward if I ever meet her. <laughs> and I'd marry Kate McKinnon. Because she's, again, very funny. Yeah. And I like a funny wife. Okay, I have Nigella Lawson. Ooh! Someone clearly put that in for you. <laughs> Anne Lister from Gentleman Jack. Mm -hmm. Sarah Paulson. None of them super float my boat. Uh, also, I, I think Anne Lister would just write about anything we did together. <laughs> yeah, true. And then people, in, like, in great graphic detail, and then people would find it later and, and then know everything about me, and it would be a bit weird. So, is that an avoid? Okay, oh, she's gone. She's not even going to put it back in the she box. She got avoided. I find Nigella Lawson is a bit too much. I think you'd have a cheeky snog. Like me. <laughs> a cheeky snog and then like out over some like some jolly good times one night. Yeah. You know? And I just couldn't stand being married to her. Oh, she'd make beautiful feasts and everything would be lovely. And I'd be like, that's my job, Nigella. <laughs> it would be too much. Dr. Arizona Robbins. Oh. From Grey's Anatomy, for anyone who's Kristen not Kristen Stewart and oh. Oh, I one. Hayley Kiyoke. Kiyoke. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Kayoke. I mean, you're asking the deaf girl. Kelly, oh. avoid Christian Stewart again. Because. Oh, oh just, just the, the like tomboy energy again. No, nah, she just like, I mean, again, I don't know her, but <laughs> from Twilight, she really annoys me. <laughs> And uh, 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 she's just... I think Twilight's she documented the things she hates most. She's a bit of a moaner in that, you know. <laughs> and then I've never seen her smile in real life either. Uh, I like a smiley lady. No, that's very true. I don't know if I've ever she seen a picture quite of her smiling. She's quite severe looking. She looks very serious a lot of the time. Please comment below with a film in which Kirsten Stewart smiles. Yeah, I can't even picture her smiling in my head right now. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> Rude. I'd snog Hayley Kiyoko, yeah, whatever her name is. Kiyoko. <laughs> and obviously Mary Dog. To Robbins. Oh. I've always had a crush on her. Oh. When we first started watching Grey's Anatomy together, I was like, oh, Arizona, and Jessica's like, I don't like her. And now you like her, don't you? Yeah, I do. I really, really like her now. Yeah. I like her much more than Callie. <gasps> Marceline the Vampire Queen. How can you, like, snog one? <laughs> what a vampire. <laughs> a cartoon. I mean, many of these people aren't real. To be fair, your first crush was Rogue from the X Men. Yeah, also animated. Yeah. Judgmental much. Oh, Hayley Kiyoko. 
Yeah, you said it right, Kyoko. Why didn't you tell me how to say it? I don't know if that's the right way to I say it. Right, I can't confirm. It sounded right. And Nikki Nichols from Orange Ooh. is the New Black. Should I try and predict your answers? Go for it. You're going to avoid Marceline the Vampire Queen because she's a cartoon. <laughs> And she's a vampire, and you don't like vampires. Also, she she only belongs with Princess Bubblegum, so... Yeah. I think you'd probably snog Hayley Kiyoko, but you'd marry Nikki Nichols. I do have a thing for yeah. damaged people. You do, that's what I thought. Like, that's why you like her. And she's funny, and you like funny people. She's wonderful! Oh my god! She has great hair. Okay, next. Shane from The L Word. I like Shane particularly as well, not Kate, not Kate <laughs> Bowen. <laughs> Priyanka Chopra. I don't really know who that is. She's married to a Jonas brother. Oh, that's not the way to define a woman. No, it really isn't. She was once Miss Well. Wow, really? Yeah. I should know who she is, but I don't know. I don't, she is I... insanely beautiful. Okay. Buffy, Priyanka Chopra, Shane from the L Word. Oh, I'd avoid Shane, not my type. And she can't commit. And I'd probably snog Buffy. Good choice. Because... She's quite hot, but a little bit like she has vampires in her life and I don't want Supernatural boy into my life forever. And I'd marry Priyanka Chopra because Excellent Jessica choice. said she won Miss World, so. <laughs> and I'd rather marry someone real than Buffy or an um, L word character. Hermione Granger. What? <laughs> Who put that in? That's just wrong. <laughs> She's a child! She still never ages over 18. No, she does, doesn't she? At the very end, well, she's the very to end Ron, of the last book. And then, oh, spoiler. <laughs> and they have a child, no? Spoiler. <laughs> um, so, sorry. Hermione Granger, Dr. Arizona Robbins. Oh, Christian Stewart. Oh, well, we know your answers. <laughs> avoid Christian Stewart. Yeah, she's being avoided. Snog Hermione Granger. Oh. It would be like a, like, you know, a high school. Yeah, and snog Hermione Granger while I'm younger and, and she's younger. And you marry Dr. Robbins. And don't marry Dr. Robbins. That was a obvious one. Kate McKinnon. Oh. Anna Kendrick. Oh. Julianne Moore. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> marry, she's gonna marry Julianne Moore. Oh yeah. I think you're avoiding Kate McKinnon. Oh. Anna Kendrick. Snog Anna Kendrick. Yeah. And I'd marry Julianne Moore. Okay, I, there are only two left. Pick one from the floor for me. <laughs> okay, I've got Virginia Woolf, Rose and Rosie. They come as a, they come okay, as one. There is one. And Buffy. I'm going to, again, avoid Virginia Woolf because in what world does this end well? Duh. I'm going to have a really fun uh, polygamous yeah. marriage with Rose and Rosie. Oh yeah, that would actually be really nice. That would be really great. Yeah. Yeah, and kiss Buffy again and be like, what are you doing? I know we kissed <laughs> that one time and you got really into it, but I was just awakening your girl feelings yeah. after Satsu did, but really I'm just sending you back to faith. Mm -hmm. Just go. Mm -hmm. So there you go, those are our controversial, potentially, opinions. Uh, please do let us know in the comments who you would like to snog, marry, and avoid. We hope you had an absolutely wonderful Pride Month so far. I mean, it's been a bit different. Yeah. We hope you found your own special way to celebrate. Lots of love, and we'll see you in our next video. Mwah! Mm.